Hi, I'm Eric Erickson, editor of RedState.com. You may not realize this, but I was once an elected city councilman in Macon, Georgia. Me, on a city council. And one of the things I learned was that local governments like to tax cell phones. They treat them as a luxury. But it's not just a municipal government. The county government does, the state government, and the federal government. They treat cell phones as a luxury because 20 years ago, when the tax structure for cell phones was put in place, they were a luxury. It's kind of in the same way that back during the Spanish-American War in the 1800s, landline phones were considered a luxury, so they were taxed to fund the Spanish-American War. And that tax stuck around for more than 100 years. It's time to bring cell phone tax laws up to date. It's time to bring fairness and balance into what is right now a Wild West structure for the tax code for cell phones. You're paying more for your cell phone than you do for anything else out there with the sales tax. 17% of the bill of your cell phone is probably taxes compared to 6 to 8% for most sales taxes. There's legislation before Congress right now called the Wireless Tax Fairness Act. It'll bring balance and harmony and get rid of the Wild West era for cell phones as a luxury when they're so common these days. I urge you to contact your senator to support the Wireless Tax Fairness Act. If you want information on it, go to mywireless.org. Red State is happy to support mywireless.org in the effort to bring the Wireless Tax Fairness Act before the Senate to get it voted on. Please contact your senator to support the act. Go to mywireless.org or redstate.com to find out information and advance this legislation. It'll save you money. It'll help your pocketbook. It'll treat cell phones as the common device they are instead of the luxury they used to be.